you know this, the Winter Olympics officially begins next week in Pyeongchang, South Korea. With so many Colorado athletes competing, most families will not want to miss any part of that action. Public television chef and entertaining guru Christy Ross joins us this morning with some quick dinner ideas for your family that you can enjoy in front of the TV during the Olympic Games so you don't want to miss anything. This, this brings a whole new light to TV dinners. Oh, I know. These are the <laughs> ultimate. TV dinners. And Thanks wish, so much for having me today. Thanks for being here. I wish it was smell vision because, oh, the marinating steak smells amazing. And this I'm, is a what kind of steak? This is a flat iron steak. Flat iron steak. Yes. We're going to get into that. You could use flank steak or, or skirt steak. You could use several cuts. All right. We're going to get into that in a minute. But I know that you're a, a big proponent of having dinner around the table with the family. It's really I important am. to take that time. But this time of year, when we have the Olympics and so many Colorado athletes, you want people to have the TV on while you're enjoying dinner this year. Why I do. Is that? This is one of the few times where I say push back from the table, get out the TV trays, and have a really fun meal together so that everybody can enjoy the Olympics because that too is a very bonding experience as everyone sits there and oohs and ahs over the, the opening ceremonies. Yeah. And then, you know, you sit on the edge of your chair as you're going, go, go, you can do it, you can do it. <laughs> well, you know, what a great way to share a meal and sure. share the excitement of the Olympics all at the same time. Listen, and those opening ceremonies are kind of long, so eat slow or, or create a lot of food around <laughs> make that, right? Make a lot. That's I always right. make a lot. So, um, so I'm going to let you flip and turn and toss yeah. and do all yeah. the things that you do great. And I'm going to okay. ask you, uh, you know, who are your favorites? are in this Olympics. Do you have any? Well, obviously, Sean White, because our house, Swan's Nest, was built in 1898 by a gold baron, and it wow. overlooks the 10-mile range. So, And off to the southern part of the 10-mile range is where they have the dew tour with the half pipe. Oh, and all. you so are. So a lot of the competitors are, you know, they qualified for the Olympics yeah. right there in Breckenridge. That's fantastic. What yeah. a view and what an opportunity I know, for you. I know. It's pretty exciting. All right. So. Well, let's talk about what we're making today. This okay. is Korean street tacos. Korean street tacos yeah, so with an Asian slaw. Oh, so love these it. are you know one of the things about when you do a, a meal in front of the TV you want it to be fun yeah. and usually that means something you can eat with your hand. Love it. Let's get so, messy. Yes absolutely. <laughs> so what what I I'm, do? we're gonna start by making the marinade. Okay. So I put in uh, you can tell I've come down from the mountain everything's dry. Uh, that's brown sugar three tablespoons of brown sugar and then would you add to this just right along the okay. way here. I've soy got sauce. soy sauce. You tell me when to stop. Yep. This looks like olive oil. That is a little canola oil. Canola oil. Mm -hmm. This might be. That is a toasted sesame oh, oil. Oh, and that's yeah. really the star ingredient. Sure it is. Okay. We want to get every drop of that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and right, some, this, uh, this is dried ground coriander. Okay. And Everybody's got that in, in the absolutely. Yeah, spice Let me turn this down. And, then and we have some uh, red, red pepper. pepper flakes. That's okay. going to just kind of uh, give a little bit of, um, you know, punch to this. Yeah. And then to that, I'm going to add in some garlic. But would you go ahead and stir this Certainly. real what well you want me to for stir me? That with, maybe. Yeah. Okay. That'd be great. I'm a good stirrer. My great. husband cooks, but I, I clean. <laughs> Do you clean as you cook, or do you I do. save it till the end? Okay. I do, You're though today one. you may not believe me, you know. <laughs> it's, it's fast. It's, I have flight. lots of counter space at home. Yeah. So, so what other um, suggestions do you have outside of street tacos that we could do? You know, pizzas are really, yeah. really fun to make. I and love at-home made pizzas, oh, don't yeah. you? And you know, you don't have to make your own pizza crush. You no, can, no, They've I got them it. in the grocery stores and all. So I'm just chopping up some garlic here. And we're going to add this in. Okay. And you just want to flavor that. And then you take your meat. And the Look meat you just... See, there you are. That's pretty. Gourmet. Gourmet I am. Oh, there, that one I'm going <laughs> to use for the salad. And we'll just... Put these in. Those are pretty. Here. Pretty. They look tender, like and you say they're a little more tender than um, than skirt steak, correct? Yes, this okay. is a little more tender than skirt steak. Good for tacos. Hanger steak is also a really, really fabulous cut of meat. Hanger steak is interesting because that was the cut of meat that the butchers always kept for themselves. They didn't share that, and now it's become a really hot thing. It is. It melts in your mouth. No so kidding. any of these are really great. So Love then it. you take your your meat and remove that from the look cooker. Look how nice that looks. Now, if I have lots of time, then I will 
do this for several hours or overnight. Okay. But who has time? <laughs> so uh, in that case, if you can get 30 minutes worth okay. of so uh, marinade, if you're, you're coming home from work, good. just 30 minutes is fine. Absolutely, then... because you want to be able to get this onto the um, the cooker mm -hmm. and get your Asian slaw made and get dinner out there so everybody sits down and has a great time. Okay. So let's make up the Asian let's slaw the Asian while slaw. this is cooking. This is a great start. And then at the very end we'll put it all together. Sounds so great. I have Napa cabbage here which is much softer than a green or red oh, cabbage. Good idea. Okay. Okay. And you since you're going quickly you want to you know you want to use something that's already soft. Okay. Cucumber. Cucumber. And I've actually seeded that. Okay. And a couple of carrots. Couple, so not and, the whole thing, uh, but just two carrots. Oh, the whole thing. Oh, the whole thing. Oh, you Absolutely. meant a couple of carrots. Shred Sorry. it up. Okay. Yep. Shred it up. And, what and we got then here? hold on. Okay. Then we're going to put in the some onion. red onion. Pretty. And we're going Look to add in. Yeah, colors everything. Mm -hmm. You know, you eat with your eyes long before this it hits your mouth. This is an Instagram right here. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that. Okay, yeah. and then we're going to mix up the dressing. Oops. Worcestershire. Worcestershire we into we, the marinade. That, oh, yeah, marinade. Yeah, Add yeah. that. That's just like your recipe home. will be online. Yeah. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, this is some um, rice vinegar, okay. which is a little smoother than a. Oh, like an apple cider vinegar, okay? Then we're going to add in all these fun things. We're going to put in some sweet chili sauce. Okay. And we're going to add, would you put in the salt for Absolutely. me, Absolutely, in this mix right here. Mm -hmm. Okay, there you mm -hmm. go. And then uh, a little bit of honey. Oh, yeah. And I have a friend who's also in culinary. Would you put in like two teaspoons worth, teaspoon and a half? Good. Perfect. Uh, she always says it's not real honey if it doesn't come out of a bear. Aww. So, um, and then you add in your olive oil. Sticky fingers. Okay. So this is very, very quick. We're going to add in a little bit. You want to grind some pepper in for sure me? Do. I'm sure glad Don't you're you here today. Sous chef, right? This is great. I'm this a is good great. Sous chef. You okay. Know? Oh, good. Thanks. And then okay. you just pour this over. And then we're going to toss it. And toss it. Okay. We there have you about go. 30 toss. seconds left. Uh, what, what Let events? me put one of these together oh, real yeah, quickly. Oh, yeah, throw it together. But tell me what you're going to be watching. What's going to be your favorite event to watch on the oh, Olympics? Oh, I love anything on ice skates. Absolutely. Yeah. Aren't they but, talented? Uh, but I'm really, really into... Um, Oh gosh, I guess half pipe really yeah. because I've gotten to see them compete. It's just so so fun. Yeah, you're you're pretty uh, lucky to have that view. Oh, we you. really are. So here you are. That's this beautiful. is the tacos. Christy. It's crunchy. It's flavorful. It's savory, yes. and it's fun to eat in your hand. And look at these little tortillas. I know it's so cute. <laughs> love it. Love it. All right. Thank you so much. Thank it's been you. Wonderful to and, have you. And just a reminder that uh, all your viewers, if they go to my Facebook page at Facebook uh, slash Christy Ross. I am giving away a cookbook. I'm gonna let them know. Home. I'm gonna let them know right okay, now. Great. All right, great ideas. Thank, Thank you, you so again so much, much Christy. Now here's an extra special treat for you, Colorado and company viewers. This morning, your chance to win an autographed cookbook. Check out Christy's Facebook page, like she said, at facebook.com slash Christy Ross. Share your favorite Olympic moment on her Facebook giveaway post. A winner will be chosen at random, and one lucky Colorado viewer will get an autographed copy of Celebrating Home, a handbook for gracious living which features entertaining tips along with delicious recipes. You've got to love it. You can also learn more online at ChristyRoss.com.